The Adam Smith Awards Asia are globally recognized as the industry benchmark for best practice and innovation in corporate treasury. Throughout this dedicated series, we take a deep dive into each of the winning solutions of 2022 in conversation with the creators themselves. Hi, I'm Sophie Jackson, joint publisher and head of strategic content at the Treasury Today Group. Treasury Today Asia's top treasury team 2022. This is our most prestigious and always a fiercely contested category. Here we recognise a corporate treasury team that has made an outstanding contribution to its organisation over the last 12 to 18 months. This could be purely the treasury team or recognise a broader team effort involving many disciplines across the enterprise. So that just leaves me to announce the overall winner of Treasury Today Asia's top treasury team for 2022. So that I'm delighted to announce that goes to Infosys Bangalore. I'd like to invite Sachin Chowgale to correct the award um, alongside banking partner City, represented by Aman Singh Chadha. Hi, I am Sachin Chowgale, treasurer of Infosys Limited. We are the overall winners of the Asia's top treasury team. Infosys Treasury is known for setting high standards for best industry practices. Our continued efforts over past 12 to 18 months demonstrated the same both in terms of objectives achieved and ability to turn challenges into opportunities. The team has become a trusted center of excellence within Infosys through its partnership-led approach on various new initiatives around operational resilience, currency risk management, investments management, working capital efficiencies, and liquidity management. With footprint across 50 plus countries globally and exposure to various currencies, many of which are complex and restrictive in nature, the team has not only successfully navigated various risks posed by COVID, but also future-proofed its operations for coming years. The team's proactive efforts in engaging internal and external stakeholders, including extracting maximum value from its core banking relationship, truly demonstrate the agility and resilience. One of the characteristics of great team is they don't do different things but do things different. They give more importance to how we have achieved than what we have achieved. So it's the how piece makes a lot of difference than what. When it comes to building a high performing team, I consider following three aspects. First one, focus on constant improvement. Change and uncertainty are certain things in the current financial markets. Not necessary that things and strategy that worked in the past will also hold good in future as well. So it is important that we need to continuously keep improving, constantly augment our skills and knowledge sets, keep updating our strategies so that we deliver better outcome every passing day. Second one, uh, building culture. Now, this is most important aspect as for me. We as leaders need to build a right culture in our organization. A culture of empathy, culture where each individual can associate himself with the larger objective of the department, of the function and the organization. Culture of trust, culture of collaboration and connect, etc. People may come and go, managers may change, but the right culture ensures core essence of the organization and the DNA of the organization is carried forward. The third one, create future leaders. Now this is interesting. When we tell people to do their job, we get workers. When we trust people to get the job done, we get leaders. It's important that people thrive to find solution 
anticipate the problem and work proactively. That's where the weighted average performance of the team goes up. My advice to corporate treasury teams would be, we are all players of infinite game. Our objective should be to perpetuate the game and be resilient. We can't play it with finite mindset, just to win or lose. We need to stay in the game as long as possible because the game is infinite. It's the survival and relevance that matters in the long run. The players may keep changing, rules may change, but what is important is we as a team, as a function, continue to remain in the game and be relevant to our stakeholders, our clients, internal or external customers. And now it's time for a word from their partner. This is Karandeep Singh Bhatt from Citibank India and I am the Global Transaction Banker for Infosys Limited. I want to start by congratulating the Infosys Treasury team on this deserving recognition for the path-breaking work that they do. And I say path-breaking with great conviction, given Infosys and City's long-standing partnership, spanning decades and multiple projects, and my own association with the Treasury team for over five years now. Under Sachin's able leadership, the team is known for setting the industry standards for best practices. And this award is a culmination of their continued efforts over the last 12 to 18 months, both in terms of Treasury objectives achieved and the ability to turn challenges into opportunities. Based out of India, the team manages the group's global requirements around liquidity, investments, working capital management, FX risk, and regulatory compliances, all the while aligning and abetting itself within the overall business objectives of Infosys. With presence across 54 countries globally and exposure to numerous currencies, many of which are complex and restrictive in nature, the team has not only successfully navigated various disruptions, such as the COVID pandemic and volatile interest rates globally, but also future-proofed its operations for coming years through digitization and automation of treasury processes. What is commendable is the foresight that the team has in terms of conceptualizing solutions early on and the discipline to implement them within specific time frame, which helps them extract maximum value out of the banking relationships. As a key banking partner to Infosys, their treasury's initiatives have been wholeheartedly supported by Citi. What also helped is that Citi also considers many of these processes and solutions as best practices and our own technology and investments are aligned to help execute such treasury priorities smoothly. As the core cash management bank for Infosys across 27 countries and counting, we take immense pride in being a trusted advisor along their journey towards treasury excellence. From partnering Infosys on their strategic objectives such as a large and bespoke receivables purchase program to ensuring operational resilience via digitization across payments, collections, new accounts, maintenances, and flow of banking information, City is proud to have been chosen as a core banking partner to help execute Infosys team's vision. As I look forward, Infosys Treasury team is already a trailblazer, and I'm sure they'll do more in the coming months and years and raise bar for treasury teams globally. We at City look forward to being the trusted partner on this journey. Next up, the highly commended award in this category. It's highly commended winner within Treasury State Asia's top treasury team for 2022 is Grow 24-7 Unilever. I'd like to invite Shoko Suzuki, Chief Financial Officer and Chief Transformation Officer, to collect the award alongside their banking partner, JP Morgan, represented by Jason Kim. I'm Shoko Suzuki, Chief Transformation Officer of Unilever Marketplace, also known as Grow 24 7. We won the award of highly commended top treasury team. So we have been on the journey of digitizing century-old traditional trade, including millions of SMEs and micro-SMEs selling consumer goods. 
and that means that we had to digitize whole business model and Treasury needed to accommodate the shift from uh, cash-based economy to digital economy. Uh, we are still in the long journey of adapting to or digitizing those uh, traditional channels but it was a great news that uh, the effort has been recognized by Treasury today. I think JP Morgan has helped us in so many ways. Um, first, we were surprised that they've been, they spend a lot of time in understanding our business and our challenges, which really out of the traditional banking customer relationship, and really had an uh, attitude of uh, creating the solution together. And when they understand that we may not have enough technical resources, they were even willing to, to offer to provide the technical resources or help our tech team understand a new digitized way of payment. So yeah, it's been a great journey. And now it's time for a word from their partner. My name's Jason, I'm part of the payment sales coverage team at JP Morgan. So I think for this project that Unilever or Grow started uh, 12 to 18 months ago, I think it was a cutting edge marketplace initiative that they commenced. So I think from their perspective, they had to build a solution from the ground up in a very short period of time. So understanding the market dynamics, what they had to do uh, to support what they needed to do from a business standpoint, I think was quite incredible and remarkable how they stood up a solution in such a short time frame. So for JP Morgan, we really spent a lot of time with the GROW team to understand what they really needed from a banking perspective. Um, given their business model, given the solution that they needed, they wanted to digitize the payment process, which was a complete shift from how they have traditionally run their business. So we spent a lot of time sitting down with them, providing them advisory support, uh, engaging them on the market landscape, and really delivering and customizing a bespoke solution which was going to work uh, to support their rapidly evolving business. A huge congratulations to all our Adam Smith Awards Asia 2022 winners. Thank you for listening to this episode of our dedicated Adam Smith Awards Asia podcast series brought to you by the Treasury Today Group. More episodes will be coming soon, featuring other award-winning solutions. So please subscribe to our channel so you can stay updated wherever you get your podcasts from.